what's up it's ariana and welcome to another vlog so today's vlog is going to be all about adulting i actually wanted to share with you guys my reason for moving out and kind of what that entailed not that i didn't like living at home or anything like that but i just thought it would be nice to be independent and have my own space so i moved in here a few months ago and i've settled in pretty well and i, I love it you know the idea of moving out has always been like what I've seen in movies, having a really nice apartment, getting to decorate it. But what we forget is all the responsibilities that come with it. Luckily, my parents helped me out with a lot of the stuff that you know needed to be done with my place. They live close enough so that they can help me with anything, but they also have enough distance for me that we can have our own space. Being here has been very inspirational. I feel so productive. I love having a new place. And with the pandemic, it's just been a really nice cozy area for me to hang out and be with myself and be creative. Yeah, so a few of the things that I had to really consider when moving in were finances. Living at home until I was about 24 really gave me enough time to save up um, and make sure to have enough finances and enough money to take care of myself living alone. And you're not just thinking about rent, you're thinking about food, utilities, transportation, you're thinking about the expenses you're gonna need for work and even for recreational things like my gaming setup or streaming and all those things come into play and a lot of them are monthly bills, you know? And what was important for me was that I had enough money that I knew I could cover the next few years of me living here and I had three to six months emergency fund so that in case anything happens, I know I'm covered and I'm liquid. But making money and saving it and investing are all different things that I had to learn through the process and I wanted to share with you guys some of the tips I had on managing money, especially with investing. I made sure to work hard, save up, and invest. And one of the simplest ways you can start with investing is actually through G-Invest. So G-Invest is the investment marketplace feature on the Gcash app. So you can actually invest in various funds uh, that were made by their partners. And it's also one of the first uh, digital investment platforms that's super easy to use and you can do it all with a click of a button. So let me show you guys how it looks like on the app. So you're basically on the interface, you click on show more and click on financial services and you'll see G-Invest. It's totally awesome because with G-Invest, you can actually start investing for as low as just 50 pesos only. So if you're a student or you just wanted to start investing and you're not really so sure about how to, this is the best way to do it. So when you actually check out G-Invest, there are a few different products you could invest in. There are actually five. It really also depends on what kind of investor you are and what you want to invest in. So let me explain the five different kinds of funds that are available, quick and simple. So when you're on the main page, you can actually click on view investment products and you will see the different products there. There are five. We have the Atram Peso Money Market Fund, the Total Return Peso Bond Fund, the Philippine Equity Smart Index Fund, the Global Consumer Trends Feeder Fund, and the Global Technology Feeder Fund. So the first one is the Peso Money Market Fund. So this is for conservative investors and also for short-term investments. You can check it out in the app for more of the details, but it's actually a low-risk fund. It's for conservative investors and it includes various Philippine treasury bonds. So you can see the full description here, all the details and what the past one year return is. And usually this percentage is pretty much higher than what you'd normally get if you just put money into a savings account. But then again, for me, um, since this fund doesn't grow exponentially, um, it's not the kind for me, but you know that if you wanna start, put in your 50 pesos, why not? If you put in, let's say, 50 pesos every week for a year, that money can, of course, continue to grow. Next is the Philippine Total Return Peso Bond Fund. You can start this for as low as 50 pesos as well, and this is for moderate uh, risk appetite. So when it comes to bonds, this means that companies are pretty much borrowing money from the people. So you're buying a bond and they're taking your money with uh, a guarantee to return your money with interest. So again, we have the details over here 
on the page. So you can see that the fund picks are fixed rate treasury notes, Metro Bank, RCBC Corp's bonds, and it says it's composed of a variety of Philippine government and corp bonds to preserve the principal with potential for capital gains. So that's pretty much what I said the finance here. So the past one year return for this as of today is 2.46%. And imagine, this is just what it was over the past year. Then again, it's not guaranteed to be that amount. It could be lesser, it could be more. That just gives you kind of an indication of the performance over the past year. Next is the Philippine Equity Smart Index Fund, and this is more for an aggressive appetite. You know, you grow hungry. <laughs> so this is again for more local economy investments. This invests in local company stocks. So you can actually see here that they invest in Globe Telecom, Ayala Corporation, SM Investment, Universal Rubina Corp. Um, as of May 2021. So it invests only in 30 companies that compose the Philippine Stock Exchange Index, but uh, the fund follows its own enhanced index approach to kind of like beat the stock exchange, uh, their index. And their past one year return is at 10%. Now, two of the other products that they have, these start with a minimum of 1,000 pesos to enter. And this is for investing in international or global funds. Next is the Global Consumer Trends Feeder Fund. So this is for aggressive appetite investors. So these are for companies that are investing in consumer products or innovations. So examples of companies that innovate for consumers are like Amazon or Alibaba or Shopee, Nintendo, Netflix. If you check the deets, you can see it all on the app for some of the companies that they invest in. And the past one year return on this one as of today is 32.77%. That's the highest one so far. And lastly is the Global Technology Feeder Fund. Also super exciting because you are investing in tech companies. So if you check the details, this invests in Microsoft, Apple, Visa, Alphabet, uh, Samsung, Google, Facebook. So it says it invests entirely in equities of technology companies and it's a feeder fund from foreign companies. The minimum investment for this is a thousand pesos. Not so bad. Let's say you even do a thousand a month if you have that much to put away, if you've saved up that much. And the past one year return, the highest of all the funds, it's 44.42%. Kind of crazy. So personally for me, I'm actually interested in the two global funds because I'm kind of a risky girl, you know, and for me, it's important to secure my future and to be able to easily invest in companies that I uh, believe in and think are gonna grow. So I like how this app makes it so easy and hassle-free and like, you know, everything fits on one screen and it's easy to understand information. So before we go into why you invest or which ones I invested in, I want to tell you how to actually invest. So all you have to do is make sure you have a verified account on Gcash. You have to answer the risk profile questionnaire. There are no right or wrong answers. This just determines your risk appetite. So this determines the kind of risk you're willing to accept when it comes to investments. Each fund also has its own risk rating. So what they've done is they've given you a questionnaire to kind of help you determine which fund you should invest in based on your risk appetite. Make sure to confirm to all the terms and conditions, give that a read. And once you're all set up, really, you just have to go through the app and do it. All you have to do is at least be 18 years old and have one valid ID and you can have a verified account. You can view product details, choose investment options, track your orders, monitor the values of investments, and set a reminder to invest regularly. And let's say you want to start investing, all you have to do is click on view investment products, select the investment product you want to start with. So let's say I wanted to do the Global Technology Feeder Fund. Select view details, click on buy, proceed, agree to the uh, terms and conditions, you'll see the user agreement, and you'll also see the unit investment trust fund risk disclosure statement, and you agree to the fund's declaration of trust. So all of these will pop up. Then you click proceed. 
Now you get the authentication code sent to your text messages and you just type that in and press submit. Now you can enter the amount you want to start with and this actually deducts it from your Gcash app. So let's start with the minimum which is a thousand pesos. Press done, click next. Make sure to agree to the buy order terms which will pop up again and then press confirm. Then it will say buy order placed. Then you'll receive an SMS with the confirmation and it actually takes two to four banking days for it to reflect in your account. So yeah, it won't reflect right away, you have to be patient. And it's as easy as that to start investing. It's exciting to watch your money grow, especially now. I like how you can do all of this from home. The thing with investing, it's not always guaranteed, so always invest what you are willing to lose. But that's what's exciting is that you could also grow your money. Now, why do I use G-Invest for some of my investments? Number one, you can start as early as 18 years old and you only need one valid ID to verify your account. I wish I knew about this earlier. <laughs> I don't think they had this when I was 18. But yeah, if you're a student out there and you want to start by putting 50 pesos away in every week or even a thousand a month, it can make a big difference. And starting as early as now is always better than starting late. Think about what your investments are going to be used for. Is it for securing your future, for your retirement, for building a family, for being able to move out and get your own place, set some goals, and investing can be one of the ways you can achieve them. Financial markets always come with some level of risk, so be sure to be a risk taker and know what you're signing up for. Make sure to read all the terms, all the details, so you know what you're getting into. But the thing is on G-Invest, the risk is reduced because they are partnered uh, with professionals who basically put these products together for us and it reduces the risk because we know that they're being professionally managed and this is less risk than investing in the stock market and super simple as well I like it but it's a no-brainer and that it can also remind me when to invest next so you can actually set like a weekly or monthly reminder for when to keep adding to the fund or you can just put in a thousand and see where that goes. So I hope that video was informative for you guys. If you have any more questions with regards to adulting or investing or my move out journey, I'm uh, gonna answer them in the comments and of course I'm willing to come out with more info and I'd love to share more of my moving out experience and share more of my place with you guys. But yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!